Welcome back to Couch Talk, everybody. I just got done watching the trailer for Glass, and I gotta say, uh, I'm really impressed. This movie is directed by M. Night Shyamalan. He also did Split, that came out, I think, a year or two ago. I think it was two years ago. And the movie before that was Unbreakable. Now, the thing that fascinates me about these movies are it is a trilogy of superhero movies that none of us knew we were getting. Unbreakable came out years ago, and it was met with good reviews, but it was really, really underrated, and uh, not a lot of people saw it and realized what they were watching. Not a lot of people understood it, um, but essentially Unbreakable was kind of like Nolan's Batman world, whereas in M. Light Shyamalan wanted to make a superhero movie that focused on what it would be like if superheroes actually existed. Bruce Willis played a character that he never got sick. He had an incredible amount of strength that normal human beings didn't have. He had this ability to scan environments for dangerous threats. Like he could look at somebody and be like, that person has a gun on him. And he didn't know how he knew that, but he just knew that he did. And Sam Jackson saw that character as the closest thing that the world is gonna get to a superhero. But like we all know, every superhero needs a villain, and he felt that that's where he was. You know, he was very sick. He had a disease where his bones were like glass, thus the nickname Glass. You know, if he fell and he broke his bones, it was like he was breaking glass. So he always thought when, you know, the world has somebody like him, there has to be somebody in the world that is the complete polar opposite where his bones are like metal. When he finds Bruce Willis, it's like he gets life back into his character, and, you know, his sole mission is to bring out the hero in him to show the world. Uh, but again, it didn't do that good. So two years ago, M. Night Shyamalan came out with Split that nobody had any idea was a spiritual successor to Unbreakable. <clears throat> he just came out with this movie as if it was his own original thing, you know, its own horror movie. It starred James McAvoy in the lead role, and he pretty much played a guy with like, I don't know, 12 or 13 different personalities. You know, one was a very kind older woman who wore high heels. You know, another one was a little kid. But then we all know that the last one was a beast, which pretty much gave him the ability to climb up walls, super strength. Uh, he growled a lot. He could bend metal bars with his bare hands. And you're going through this whole movie watching this, and it was a good movie. You know, on its own, it was a very good movie. And I liked that M. Night Shyamalan filmed it that, like, it didn't need to be part of another universe. It, didn't, wasn't, it wasn't set up as a sequel. It could have been its own thing. But then in the last three minutes of the movie, this is going to be a minor spoiler, so if you don't want to hear it, skip ahead 10 seconds. You see Bruce Willis's character from Unbreakable sitting in the bar, which implies that this is part of a franchise. Then speculation swirled like, holy shit, what does that mean? Is that going to mean another one? And now we're getting this movie. And this is the superhero trilogy that we're getting that we didn't know we deserved, but we absolutely need, because I think that this is a fantastic idea to make a movie uh, centered around superheroes, centered around what it would be like if they actually existed, you know, stripping everyone from the capes and cowls and just making them as real as possible. And like making almost like um, a sickness or a, a gift, like there's something with Bruce Willis that makes him so strong, but just M. Night Shyamalan using that idea as like, that is a superpower. And you know, just watching this trailer, it looks fantastic. It looks like the first time Bruce Willis is actually acting in years. James McAvoy looks like he is in love with this part. What other times do you get to be in a movie where you get to play 12 or 13 different characters? He really gets to spread his wings here and show his acting chops. And Sam Jackson just looks magnetic and like he's having a blast being the villain of this movie and he's just so smart. And he gets his iconic purple suit back. And that's another thing I love about this trailer. Each one of them has their own like color gradient behind them. Like if you notice, like the tint of like the colors when um M uh, Sam Jackson's on the screen is always like purple, and with Bruce Willis it's like blue or green. It's one of the two. And uh, James McAvoy I think it was like yellow. And it's just cool to see that like he's giving them each their own color, kind of like um the characters from like the Star uh, Solo a Star Wars story poster. How they all have like different colors. It just there's a lot of care going into this trailer, and I'm sure the same is gonna come from the uh, movie. And I think where Unbreakable failed to capture audiences, uh, I know on first hand, um, many, 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 many people that saw Split and loved it, realized it was part of a greater universe, went back and watched Unbreakable, loved that, and now they're excited for this third movie. I just gotta say, I'm 
really excited to see this all uh, cultivate. I'm really excited that we're getting this, and I'm really excited that it's something that was kind of like a surprise. Like, M. Night Shyamalan is known for his twists, and the biggest twist of all is that he was giving us a trilogy of movies that started, you know, like 20 years ago, and we had no idea. So I'm really excited for this. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited for this movie? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think M. Night Shyamalan should make more movies like this? Or do you think it should have stopped with Unbreakable? Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll catch you next time.